Okay, so welcome back to another video. So here we have a little um, number theory slash algebra problem, really number theory. And it's asking us to find um, natural numbers a and b that satisfies the following equation. The square root of 10 times a plus b is equal to a plus b with the condition that a and b are natural numbers inclusive between 1 and 9. So this is very straightforward, just find the natural numbers A and B. In other words, you can actually write this as a um, order pair with the following Cartesian um, product. So we want to find order pairs A and B um, so that it satisfies the, um, so the, natural, the natural numbers like so. Find the order pairs that satisfies this equation. Uh, let me write this a little better, it kind of looks messed up. Okay, so basically, this is just manipulating some algebra, and um, you want to solve for solutions A and B. There's also, with the, you know, of course, with the um, condition that A and B have to be, has to be natural numbers in between 1 and 9. So that brings us a little bit of a challenge, but it's actually not that difficult to verify and solve, which is pretty much today's video is short. But I think it's also worth interesting to note that um, 0 or a is equal to um, 10 and b is equal to 0 even though they're not part of the natural number set of course I guess depending on whatever textbook you read 0 is part of the natural number system but even though it's not in inclusive with the in uh, with the condition here with this inequality that it actually um, a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 0 does satisfy the um, equation 10, um, 10 is on the right side and 10 on the left side as well but it also, you can see that if you tried out the pretty trivial obvious case that A and B are both equal to zero, then you get the, um, it actually checks out. So not really um, important there. I just thought that was really interesting to note, but I thought, um, here's an interesting take. If you guys can um, suppose that A and B aren't, not, aren't natural numbers, but instead A and B are real numbers. And if we just exclude this um, inequality over here, so for all real numbers, well, of course, don't forget you want to check that um, the square root the square root is also positive too. So be careful when it comes to um, negative the negative numbers. So that's just one thing to be careful for. But let's see see if it's possible that if you can find um, some order pairs um, a and b for the real such that it satisfies this equation. And just let me know in the comments below if you um, either you find it or you don't find it. It's totally fine. But anyway, let's actually just um, enough ramble. Let's just jump in. All right, let's start off with square root of 10, um, the given, obviously. So the most obvious step we can do here is just square um, both sides. So we have 10a plus b, and so that's just equal to a plus b quantity square, which, of course, we expand this out. Obviously, you can see this is just a squared plus 2ab, then plus b squared. Okay, then how about... We'll um, subtract everything to one side and then solve for zero. So I'll um, subtract the 10a and subtract the b to the other side. So we'll have a squared plus, um, what is it? We'll say two plus 2ab, then subtract 10a, then sub um, add this with b squared, then subtract b, which is equal to zero. Okay. Now, how do we um, approach this? If we have some sort of, you know, because this is, it, I'm dealing with the um, degree of two, so of course it's in a sense a quadratic um, polynomial. So how would we want to solve for these variables? So let's actually instead take a look and observe for A and solve for the equation A. So obviously we know by um, using the quadratic formula, we use the coefficients associated with these terms. So hence, if we're solving for A, we're gonna treat um, B as a constant. So here, let me um, group this a little bit differently. So I can say that here is this just a square. Then I can add this with a, then multiply with 2b, subtract 10. So in this case, this would be our constant associated with a. And then add this with uh, b squared, subtract b. So that would be like the constant. So of course, a is 1, um, b, if you want to put it that way, is equal to 2b minus 10. And then our constant c is b squared minus b associated with a quadratic formula. So we just plug in those pieces together. So we would have, of course, quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2. We just plug in the correct substitution. So here we have minus um, 2b subtract 10. Add this or subtract with 
Um, so here put in, so 2b subtract 10, then subtract with 4 times 1, since associated with here, then sub, uh, multiply with the c, so 4 times um, b squared subtract b. And then that being divided by 2 times a, where we said a is equal to 1, so, okay, like so. Now we can actually just um, expand the inside of our, um, our radical, so let me just put this back over here. Just as stated as before. Then we see that we have the square roots of expand this out. So this is just 4b squared subtract um, 40b. Then add this with 100. Subtract with 4b squared. Then add this with 4b. Okay, so this divided by 2. Everything can be factored out. Um, you can factor out a 4 to this um, entire expansion over here. Well, really, first thing you'll notice is that um, 4b squared and then minus 4b squared, they cancel each other out, so let's just ignore that. Then if we just combine a little bit of terms, um, minus 4b plus 4b is 36b, so we have, um, well, we could want to rearrange the terms a little bit, so it just feels like we have a positive starting instead of a negative. So it would be 100, then subtract um, 36b. So we have 100, um, subtract 36b, divide this with 2. Here I can factor out a 4, then take the square root of 4 is 2. But um, you can also factor out 2 here, and then all the 2s will cancel from both the top and the bottom. So really we would have just negative b, subtract 5, then add this, and subtract with the square root of 25 minus 9b. And so let me just say that this is just equal to for our solution A. All right, so now let's focus that the square root of 25 minus 9B, in this case is known as the discriminant, that indeed, of course, this has to be um, strictly greater than, or, or not strictly, but greater than or equal to zero. So if we test out some numbers for B, obviously, um, if we choose B for one, that'll still work. You'll get a positive number, that'll be fine. Um, two, that will also work as well. Three, however, and all the way higher, you're gonna get a negative input for the square root and that's dealing with the whole complex, you know, you know, the imaginary numbers, but that's not, we're not dealing with that stuff. So we can exclude everything from three and then all the way up to nine. So here we can say that if we choose um, B is equal to one or two. So now let's actually plug in one and two to both the equations over here. So here, let's switch to the red this time. So, if we, if we say that b is equal to 1, okay, then, um, well, if we're looking at the, we're looking at the square root, we don't, we, we don't need to worry about this, um, we're paying attention to the square root. So, if we plug 1 into here, then we're going to get that this is just 25 subtract um, 9, which of course that's the square root of 16, which of course is equal to 4, therefore, actually, it's indeed a natural number, so that actually satisfies that. Now, let's see if we plug b. So if b is equal to 2, then we just plug this back in. So we have 25 subtract, what is it, 9 times 2 is 18, equals the square root of 7. However, that is not a natural number, so this does not check out. So therefore, the only solution for b is that b can um, only equal 1. With that, now we can actually just plug 1 back into our, um, you know, with the quadratic formula expansion and simplified. So now, B is equal 1, then we see that we plug 1, so this is minus um, 1 minus 5, that would be just, you know, negative 4. Then add and subtract, plug the 1 back in, so we, we just showed that that's 4 over here, so that's fine. So therefore, we have two solutions of A. We have one that A is equal to 8 and 0. Now, we can actually just exclude A is equal to 0 because that's not part of our set over here. Um, so that can just go away. And so we have that the solution is A is equal to eight. But let's actually check that out and make sure that it actually does satisfy the following. So we see that um, we plug eight for A and then one for B. Then if we plug this back in, so we have the square root of um, 10 times eight. So that's 80 plus one is 81 equals A plus B. So A plus one which shows that it's nine is equal to nine, and that checks out. And so therefore the only solution for the order pairs A and B is equal to eight comma one, like so. 
And so there we have it. The only order pair that we find that satisfies the following equation with the Cartesian products of both um, the coordinates being natural numbers. So yeah. Um, see if you can actually find um, real solutions that satisfy the equation, excluding this, um, you know, condition the inequality over here, and um, see what you can come up with. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me.